We're going to debate the rankings of the 2018 NBA draft. So episode 18, 2018 NBA draft. Some great players in this, that draft. These top five are really good. You think about, they've all contributed some way. DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley III, Luka Dantich, Jared Jackson Jr., and Trey Young were the top five picks in the 2018 draft. We're going to tell you exactly how we rank them from five to one, five being the least to one being the best. I am first this week, so I will go and tell you the perfect list. Ooh, that means I don't have to do stats. You know, you don't have to do stats because I'm giving you a perfect list. You don't even have to read your list because once I read mine, you're going to go, yep, you're right, and we move on. At number five of all of them, Marvin Bagley the third, 13.6 points per game, 7.4 rebounds, less than an assist a game, less uh, half a steal in his career, 0.7 on the blocks. Made the all-rookie team 18-90. Actually, all these guys made the all-rookie team. One of them actually won rookie of the year as well. So just not enough for him. And he really, his teams, and you think I feel bad because Sacramento and he's been with some bad teams. He's not playing with very good teams. So that's kind of hurt him. At number four, Jaron Jackson Jr., 15.8 points per game, 5.1 rebounds, 1.2 assists. You think about his blocks, 1.8 blocks, actually led the league in blocks this season. And the Grizzlies, and look at what they're, they're starting to do. He's a piece of that foundation. Also made the all-rookie team. At three, made a finals appearance, so I gave him a little more credit than the other two. DeAndre Ayton, for that piece, 16.3 points per game, 10.5 rebounds per game. The only guy on this list that have a double-double, averaging a double-double. Again, made the all-rookie team. Averages a block a game. We talk about the Phoenix Suns and all their star power. He's one of those pieces. A solid player. Has to be in the middle of the ground because these other two guys are just so dynamic. And this is where I debated a little bit. Just a little bit. But at number two, I went Trey Young. 25.3 points per game. 3.9 rebounds. 9.1 assists. Again, all-rookie team, two-time all-star. But again, not the numbers that this guy at number one, Luka Dantich, has put up. 26.4 points per game, 8.5 rebounds and eight assists. Averages a 1.1 steals as well. Was the 18-19 rookie of the year. So out of all these guys that were on the all-rookie team, he won the rookie of the year. Three-time all-star, two-time all-NBA. Just a... Dynamic player. And you think about that trade. Trey Young and him switched in this draft. That was a trade on the on the on the trade day, on the draft day. What a big deal that was, if you think about from where they are. They're both one two on this list, but you could say it's not one A, one B. It's pretty much one. Trey's two and he's one. Yeah. I that's exactly my list. I told you. I told you. So you finally got something right. Oh, here we go. But look, no, I want to I, I wanna clarify that I was actually closer to putting Aiton at number two. I, 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 I was it. close. I was looking at that, and I'm like, gee, I actually, I actually like Aiton better than Trey Young, especially after the playoffs this year, how he just disappeared for Atlanta and showed yep. no no desire for for their season showed no desire and yeah, i did not like that from trey young i did not like that um especially when you don't have the top two players for miami in a game and you don't muster anything yeah nothing yeah so no i can see that i can um, see that so yes that one game kind of soured my my, you know, like ability of yep. Trey Young. So. No, I could see that. I could see that. It's, it's it, all it, about Luca it, in this draft. I, I, I mean, just thought about if you think about the five players, and again, Bagley for no fault of his own. Again, playing on just some poor teams. He's a nice so player. I felt, I felt bad, but he's not a bad player. His numbers are pretty good. So 
all very good players. That was a very good draft. If you think about it. just yeah. the top five there, and you got yeah. those those players, that that's pretty 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 darn good. Yeah. Look, so, you know, if 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 Luca needs to win a championship, you know, he doesn't have to change the color. He can still wear green. Just come to Boston. You'd love that. Oh my that's, god, I would, that would love insane. that. 